Hello, Chaplain Kelly here. Today we're going to talk about the importance of Thanksgiving in our lives, so stay tuned. Hello, everybody. Now we're going to talk about the importance of Thanksgiving and what it truly means in our lives. Now, the first Thanksgiving is not about murderous, thieving people, laying hungry people who were bent on destruction and to kill off the Native American Indians. That's not what Thanksgiving is about, and that's not who the early pilgrims were. The first Thanksgiving came after, in 16, September 6, 1620, a group of pilgrims left England because they were religiously persecuted and they wanted to find a place where they can settle and have the freedom to worship. They eventually, after two months of being on the storm-tossed sea, landed at Plymouth Rock and they were vastly unprepared. Oh, nearly half of them died and they were vastly unprepared for that harsh New England winter and they didn't have any provisions and so they barely, barely hung on. And they eventually had a relationship built between the Wamp and Og Indians. And two of them, Samoset and Squanto, decided to stay with them and teach them. In fact, Squanto stayed for the rest of his life, generously teaching all and learning from. In fact, it says that Squanto became a Christian. But he learned from the pilgrims, and the pilgrims learned from him. And it was about Thanksgiving. And that first Thanksgiving service was on December 1621, when 50 of the pilgrims, that's all who were left, 50 of the pilgrims and the Indians were able to share together in games and festivities and, and they cooked deer and shellfish and turkey and they had a marvelous time. It was a wonderful, peaceful time. Now early, now there may have been other people groups who were bent on destruction and conquering a land and such as the Vikings and the Knights Templar and other settlers. Now that's true in history, but it's not of the early pilgrims. The early pilgrims wanted to worship God in the manner they so choose, chose to worship. They were fleeing from religious persecution in England. Now, today, Thanksgiving holds an importance for us. What are you truly thankful for? What is it that you are thankful to God for in life? We can be thankful for so many things. The scripture tells us in Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17, that, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. Bear with each other and forgive each other whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, agape love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the shalom peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as one, members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell within you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether word or deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Now, the Apostle Paul is using three different types of grammar to tell us about being thankful. The first is an adjective. The second is a verb. And the last one is an action verb, a verb participle. Now, the Apostle Paul is teaching us to be thankful in all things, in all circumstances. What is it that you are truly thankful to God for? What is it that you can give Him praise for? What is it? Is Thanksgiving about the turkey or all the fixings? And is it about all of that? No. It's about giving thanks to God in the prayer and praise and adoration of what God has done in your life. Now, this age of the COVID virus, the year 2020, has been a weird year, hasn't it? It's been a topsy-turvy year. It's been a year of suffering. And it's been a year of death. And it's been a year of so much horribleness. But it's also been a year of blessing. Blessing to where we can give thanks to God for what He has done this year for our lives. He has blessed us. He has blessed you. Now you may say, Chaplain Kelly, what has He blessed me with? 
What has God done in my life this year except misery and death and destruction? No, He has seen you through. He has helped you and He has guided you in this life and during this pandemic. And He's leading this world, I believe, toward the end times. And this is just a growing pain. This is something that we have to endure in our lives. Just as the early pilgrims settled in Plymouth Rock and had to endure the harsh New England weather, had to endure all that suffering, and eventually, on the other end, were able to give thanksgiving to God, you and I have been suffering. You and I have been going through a lot of stuff in our lives this year. The economic turns, the, the downturn, the stock market crashing and people losing their jobs. And now the stock market is rising and you get all the turmoil, with the, the political stuff going on with the president. Let me tell you, it's enough to make anybody insane. But God loves you and he's watching your life and he's seeing you through. So no matter what happens in your life, no matter what you are going through, even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you to where you can truly give thanks. And whatever I do, whatever I say, to give truly thanksgiving to God for all that He has done for me and for you in our lives. That's what thanksgiving is about. It's not just about a proclamation of prayer and fasting from General George Washington, or President Washington, or then Abraham Lincoln, or then any president in office. It is about truly what God has done for you in your life individually, and what God is leading you through and blessing you with. This day, praise God. In this Thanksgiving, give Him the glory and honor that He alone deserves, because He loves you, and He's seeing you through. Even through these hard times that you're in, he is seeing you through today. So give him that prayer, give him that praise, and thanksgiving. Amen.